Hi, in today's AW session, we will discuss about using Gmail as a SMTP server for PeopleSoft. As we know that we are sending a lot of mails for follow-ups to requesters, approvers, uh, the one whom we are escalating to. So for all of these, we need SMTP server implemented in PeopleSoft. And for the demonstration purpose, we are using Gmail setup here. So these are the steps that you need to perform to get it into your system. Download Geo Trust and Google Internet Authority certificate. Add digital certificate in PeopleSoft. Geo Trust as root CA with the alias Equifax Secure CA. Google Internet Authority as a remote with the alias Equifax Secure CA update appserve.cfg and then test email using web profile page. The number of steps are less and it looks simple but we have to be very careful while setting it up because if we make a small mistake or it will be tough to understand where we have missed. So first of all we should have a gmail id let me open a gmail id that i have created for demonstration go to gmail so i have created this one arnav.pt10 at gmail.com please make sure you are using google chrome to perform these steps you have to click here view site information click on details for secure connection Click on view certificate. We basically need to download certificates. Go to certification path. First click on GeoTrust Global CA. Click on view certificate. Go to details. Click on copy to file. So there will be a certificate export wizard that will open. Click on next. Make sure we will select base64 encoded x.509.cr click next browse for a location where you copy this one on the desktop i have created one folder arnav.pt10 here we will save it so this is geo and save as type.cer click save click next finish export was successful click ok ok again now select google internet authority gt click on view certificate click on details click on copy to file next select base 64 next click browse save it again with the name google internet authority g2 click save Next, finish. The export was successful. Click OK. OK again. OK again. So now we are having both of these files GeoTrust and Google Internet Authority. We know the password for the Gmail. So for me, it's password hash 10, but we can't use it as it is in the system so we must have it uh, in the encrypted format in which system will read getting the encryption of our, of the password we have to open ps cipher for that go to command prompt open it as an administrator click yes go to your config home so for me it is for me it is cd c drive pt 8.54 web serve fsdmo pia bin so the ps cipher that application is placed at this location so this is your config home then this is web serve fsdmo will be the name of web server pia bin 
is another folder inside it. Now here we just need to type ps cipher and the password. Password hash 10. Click OK. It will give you encrypted text which we will use in psappserve.configuration file. So let me copy everything. Right click here, edit, mark, select everything. Right click again, edit, copy. Now in the same folder I will create another file, a notepad file. And I will save it here. Basically we would need this one in later stage. Now we have these certificates. We have to create digital certificate in PeopleSoft. Go to People Tools, Security security objects and then digital certificates here you need to click on add select root ca and then here you need to type equifax secure ca and issuer alias is also this so there are two things one is alias and other is issuer alias so issuer alias and alias is same in this scenario Click on add root. Here we have to copy paste uh, root certificate. Open this one Geo Trust Global CA. Open with notepad. Copy everything. Go back and paste. Click refresh and OK. Click on add again. This time select remote. And we have to type Google Internet Authority. G2 and issuer alias will be Equifax Secure CA. Click on magnifying glass and select. Now, this way we are connecting remote and root CA. Now, here we need to click import and again we have to import the certificate for Google Internet Authority G2. Click on Geo Internet Authority G2. Open with notepad, copy everything and paste it here, click refresh, click OK and this is done. Click on refresh. Now next we need to update appserver.cfg. Go to C drive, PT8.54, appserve appserve name that is fstmo for me then pfs appserve is the configuration file we have to open it now here search for smtp you will find the smtp settings inside it you have to make changes at two places one is this dynamic change allowed for SMTP sender. SMTP sender you need to provide email ID and this setting you need to check. SMTP US use SSLY, SMTP SSL port 465, SMTP client cert alias blank, SMTP use SSL1N, SMTP SSL port 1465, SMTP client cert alias one blank then SMTP username would be the name of the user arnav.pt10 at gmail.com and then SMTP user password that you have to copy paste from your PS cipher. So encrypted password we have saved here so we need to copy and paste it here and save. So this is done. All the required setups are done. Now we can test it. For testing, you need to go to People Tools, go to Web Profile, Web Profile Configuration. Basically, we can test it from anywhere where there is a Notify button. So this is one of the place. Click on Search, select Broad. 
go below you will find notify click here provide a email id where you want to send this mail pt10 at gmail.com subject test smtp message will remain same and click ok ideally arnav.pt10 should have sent one mail to arnav.pt10 let's check whether we got this mail or not we got this mail test smtp and whatever was there in the details is here message text is here test smtp one important point to note is that you have to use google chrome you want when you want to download digital certificate that's all in today's session which is very important to set it up because you want to test and see your mails how it looks so go through these steps and let us know if you are facing any issues that's all in today's session thank you for your time have a nice day bye